about this week in wrestling. Brian Webster, Knuckles Nelson, and take a look at the Adams family here. What a con zombie. And uh, oh, the living man, dead girl, Jamie Payne now, moving right in on Ron wow, Zombie. Look at him punching him in the face. This is going to be messy very quickly. And you see that little vixen outside the ring there? Well, she thinks she'll get her bread buttered by hanging around with Ron Zombie, and uh, perhaps that is the case. But uh, it's really too bad because she has a lot of potential, and when she first came onto the scene here, she was quite popular with the fans, and she can uh, basically uh, Forget kiss about that, that support goodbye. Well, look at her. She's in all black, black lipstick, black hair, black dress, black heart. She's Everything is black about her. She's a living dead girl. Man. And there, of course, Ron Zombie, who... Uh, and that's a good influence on it, right, Ron um, Zombie? You know, here's another guy. He, he started uh, uh, getting the support of the fans, and he loved it, and he started changing his ways. He even told me in an interview, he said, it's a nice change, and then all of a sudden, boom! He's right back to his old ways again. Sickening. The, the two of them make me sick. Well, they make me sick, too. As uh, Very sick. As you know, Ron Zombie can't get a hotel room anywhere on the Seacoast because of all the hotel rooms that he's destroyed. And from what I understand, Cassandra Knight has a beautiful, beautiful home in the northern part of Hampton Beach. So now he's got a place to stay, too. Well, it's probably uh, mooching. Who knows? Who cares? All I know is they have wreaked havoc on wrestling Star Wars since this uh, terrible uh, display a couple of weeks ago. And uh, quite frankly, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Well, Jamie Payne set for the ride there by Zombie. Oh, no! Almost taking the head off of Jamie Payne, Knuckles Nelson. Well, Jamie Payne is more known for hardcore wrestling, and him coming into wrestling Star Wars after hitting Zombie below the belt is somewhat of a surprise for me because he's not going to get very far with those hardcore tactics here. you got to know how to wrestle here. A point well taken from Knuckles Nelson, ladies and gentlemen. And now look at this, Jamie Payne setting up Ron Zombie, letting him have it right into the midsection. And what's he doing? He's all the way across the other side. Oh, did Zombie get out of the way of that? It looked like he might have moved up a little. Well, he tried to, but Payne still caught him just enough to take him down to. And a foot across the bottom rope is going to save, at least for now, Ron Zombie. Well, Cassandra Knight, as we know, turning her back on Talia after she helped her, after she, Talia actually helped her when Trinity H. Campbell was attacking her, now has got issues with Talia. From what I understand, Talia says she has some sort of surprise coming up in the very near future. Indeed, I talked about it a little bit uh, on the uh, WrestlingStarWars.com weekly news column. Uh, Talia has contacted the office. She has asked for permission to bring in uh, some reinforcements. We well, gave her the okay, but she won't tell us who it is. Well, I'll be interested to see who that is. I mean, that little swatch isn't going to have too much trouble wrapping some guy around her finger, that's for sure. Agreed? Agreed. Irish whip in. Jamie Payne in control and a major sidewalk slam right there on Zombie. Oh, look at the... Did you see that? Did Cassandra Knight just interfere? Did you see her putting, helping Zombie's foot off the rope? Okay. And now look oh, at that! No. And she's not afraid to get involved here! There's a 300-pound guy she's manhandling, Jamie Payne! I cannot believe my eyes. Look wow. at this! Pulling his hair, trying to scratch look. his eye out, crying out loud. Look at the look on her face. Man, she is vicious. Oh, and a kick to the face, Webster! What a nasty, vile witch. Uh, what else can you call her? She is a witch. What? And, and J.B. Payne is uh, fighting a handicapped match of sorts here this week at wrestling. Well, when she used to come to the combat zone, she was so nice and so sweet and willing to learn, trying to get involved in wrestling. And it, was it all a trick? Well, it was something. She had us all fooled, let me tell you. You know, the things we're finding out now, look at that elbow there. Brian, the things we're finding out now, we're finding out that she's got very, very close friends high up in the music business, people like Brett Michaels, people like David Lee Roth. She knows these guys. And now she comes around the combat zone like a sweet and innocent girl. And now look at her. I feel like I've been played. That's what I think. Zombie now with his man shot downstairs. And look at this measuring. Yeah, oh, that neck yes. breaker. And that's a great way to break a neck and hyperextend your elbow all at the same time. Well, I personally won't, wouldn't want to be in a bar fight with either one of these guys, but I'm telling you, Jamie Payne was just holding on to the back of his head there. He's in serious trouble. And look at him hanging on to the ropes. Ego and... Oh, look at Cassandra. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, oh, man. Again, 
The living dead girl interjecting herself where it doesn't belong. Unbelievable. I cannot believe this. And look at she has the nerve to stay right over there by Jamie Payne. He'd snap her in half, you know. I don't think she cares. Man. She'd probably snap him in half. Look at, look at the look on Zombie's face. He's in some sort of trance or something. Look at him. He's looking up at the lights. What a complete, ugh. They're freaks, aren't they? they? And those are their good qualities. Man. Jamie Payne trying to stage a comeback here. He's had to fight Zombie and, of course, the living dead girl who oh. is uh, some sort of manager, valet, second And also a professional wrestler. Sorts. I say that you have to consider them partners. And from what I'm seeing here, it's almost like she's calling the shots. Which it wouldn't be hard to do with Ron Zombie. Well, he's not the uh, brightest bulb, but... Uh, that could be what he needs. Maybe somebody with a little guidance. He knows how to wrestle. He won the he won the damn New England Heavyweight Championship on his own, Knuckles Nelson. He didn't need some voodoo witch at ringside telling him what to do. Oh. Use your brain for crying wow, out loud. Wow, look at that springboard elbow there by Jamie Payne. Very impressive for an over 300-pound man. And how short your memory is. Don't you remember the New York posse had a hand in Ron Zombie getting the title from Rick Fuller? He still did most of the work. Yeah, he got the one, two, three on him. Look no, at this now. Look at this, Brian. In your book. Boom! A cover, and the referee Whirly is over. And it's a three count, and he ought to give half his money, uh, half of the winning purse to the living dead girl at ringside. Look at her rolling. Look at the look on her face, man. Oh, oh look at this now. Oh, the Asian spike, Brian. He's look got the Asian spike. So, oh, oh, what is she doing? She's, is She's she wrapping helping? a chain around the throat of Zombie. Oh, this is bizarre. This is completely bizarre. Ugh. Oh, my. I've seen what? everything. Get me. Go to something else. Jeez. 